If you're wondering why no woman takes you seriously or sticks around long enough to love you, this might stink. But here is the hard truth. There are five key reasons why you keep pushing women away. And until you fix that, no woman will truly love you. It's time to face the facts and make a real change. And I'm not talking about shallow excuses like money or looks. These are five real reasons that affect the way women perceive you and decide if you're worthy of their love or not. Let's dive in. Neediness is a love killer. If you're constantly seeking reassurance, attention, it's overwhelming for any woman. Trust me, no woman wants a man who is there available 24-7. You're always asking for love, you're always there, even when she doesn't want you around. It's almost as if you don't have any other thing going on in your own life. See, eh? once you give that needy vibes, she go wrong. Because you're supposed to have your own thing going on for you. She shouldn't be the only thing in your life. You know that moment you think you're professing love and you're seeing things like you're the only thing that makes sense in my life. If you leave me, I'll buy. If you do this, if you... That shows neediness and it sends a message that you're desperate and insecure in yourself. So have something that you're doing. It's not bad to show affection, to be there for your woman and, you know, just be around when she wants you to be around. But if that is the only thing you have to do every day, then it's a problem. Stop chasing her every second and be the man that stands firm on his own. You don't have to be rich, but if you lack direction, drive, or even sense of purpose, no woman will find you worthy to invest her heart in you. You know, funny enough, going back to the times of creation, before Lord God gave a man a woman, he first of all gave him work. He says, this is the garden, take care of the garden, name the animals, just do something. It was later on he came back to say that it is not good for a man to be alone. So I will make him a woman that will be a helpmate unto him. So it means that originally, first of all, you need to have a purpose. You need to have something that you're doing. You need to have a sense of direction. Where is your life headed? What is that reason why you're here on earth? Are you living in it? This goes to show that if you have not found your purpose or you're not living in that direction towards what God wants you to be, then you don't even have a business looking for a woman because that alone is going to drive her away because women are supposed to be helpmates. She's supposed to be the one to help you to achieve your dreams, your aspirations, and your goals. So when she comes into your life and you don't even have a purpose, you don't even have a goal, you don't even have drive, nothing drives you, then what exactly is she supposed to look up to? That is why they run away. So look at yourself, look around, think about it. What have you been up to for the past six months? Have you been consistent? Some people can't even keep a job for four weeks. Some can keep a job for two months, for three months. You're not consistent. You're doing this today. You're doing that tomorrow. You're everywhere. This might sound very harsh, but it's time for you to take a reality check. Your focus shouldn't be a woman or thinking why they do not stay with you. When you're not even chasing your dreams and you don't even have a purpose in life, or you don't even know it, any man that is doing something, trying to achieve his purpose, working and doing something for himself, even if he is not rich, women find him highly attractive. Why? Because he's goal-driven. He has drive. So even if I come into your life or maybe we begin to date, you're not going to be the type that on Monday morning you're just sitting lounging and you don't have anything to do, no direction, nowhere to go. You're just there. Life is just happening to you instead of being a partaker in the things that happen in your own life. That right there is a ton of enough to chase any good woman away. Women are attracted to confident men. If you're the type that is always second-guessing yourself, you can't even take a decision and stick to it. You keep asking, okay, is it okay? Do you think it's okay? I'm not saying you shouldn't seek for the opinion of your partner or something, but sometimes being decisive, being confident in your own decision is highly attractive to any woman. Don't second-guess yourself. It doesn't matter if you don't have money. Some people think everything is about money or you have to look a certain way before you can now be confident in yourself. I don't know where they got that from, but being confident in who you are. When you say things, mean it. When you make plans, be confident in yourself. When you set out to meet that person, be confident in yourself. Don't say something and then in your heart, you're just rejecting. No, confidence is not about being arrogant, but it's about knowing your worth and standing in your own truth. 
don't let anybody push you around like all over the place just because you feel that eh, you know, say I never get money now. Eh, as as if you say I know fine like that now, make you just manage me. No, be confident in who you are. Assert what you want out of life. If you're the type that likes a certain kind of woman, maybe she has to look a certain way. Don't think because you don't have money yet, you cannot approach her. I've read stories where women would just literally fall for a man who is confident. Confident enough to walk up to her and tell her, girl, you fly, girl, you're beautiful, I love you, can we just do things together? You know, when you have that confidence, it's very attractive. So stop thinking you have to have money, you have to do this. If you have all the money in the world and you don't have confidence, then I think it's still a problem. So confidence is key. Build your confidence from the inside. It shouldn't be dependent on externalities, your looks, your money, the car you drive, where you live, where you're from, the color of your skin. No. Build your confidence from the inside. Know who you are. Stand firm in your truth and assert it without being arrogant. Emotional intelligence matters in everything. One of the reasons why a woman will want to stay with you is because you have the ability to control your emotion. You're not the type that goes from zero to hundred within seconds and you start breaking things around and acting up and everybody is holding you and you're like going crazy. Emotional intelligence is something that is key. Most women will see you as being very strong when you're able to handle your emotion. Do you know why that is? Because we women are naturally emotional people. Small things will just break us down. We don't start to decry. No, 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 I don't decry. What are we going to do? Eh? I don't decry already. But if you're a man who has emotional intelligence, you know how to handle your emotion. You know when you're angry and you don't have to say anything. You just step out of the room or step out of the house or step out of the situation and just calm a little bit. You know when to say things and when not to say things. Emotional intelligence is very key. A woman that wants to be with you for the long time will most often think about the way you handle emotional matters. How often you flare up and just lose control of situation and lose control of yourself and just go all in and even fight. Because talking about long-term relationship like marriage, which is something I'm even more focused on, it's going to test you. When you have children, it will test you. There are so many times, so many situations that will happen and if you do not have emotional intelligence, you're just going to be flaring up and you will not handle situations calmly. No woman wants to live with a man that is like a time bomb. People tiptoe around you. Ah, which one I go do now? Make you start vest. Ah, this one when your face be like this. Eh? Ah, I beg you. I know one while. I know woman wants that. So your ability to control your emotion is key. Disrespect and poor communication. When it comes to respect, most times a lot of people will say, eh, now nah, man, now nah, you need to respect him now. But let me tell you something, respect is reciprocal. A woman needs to be respected as much as a man needs to be respected. It's not just a man thing. I remember one time I posted a video on TikTok and that video went viral. I was talking about qualities that men find attractive in women. And then I got a lot of comment of people saying, eh, if you don't add respect, if you don't respect a man, he's not going to look you, he's not going to desire you, he's not going to want you. People always attribute respect to be something that a man needs first and foremost. I'm not saying that is a lie. But then when it comes to respect, a man also needs to respect his spouse. If you're the type that talks down on your woman, maybe you're even outside in the public, you don't care where you are, you just talk to her anyhow. You've forgotten that the way you talk to your woman is the way other people will also refer to her. So respect is a two-way thing, not be one-way traffic, now two ways. As if they go, if they come, if they go, if they come, you get the vibe, now so it be. So if you're the type that don't have respect for your woman, or maybe you don't even have respect for your mom, your siblings, people around you, people in your community, a woman is watching. It means that you're certainly not going to have respect for her. Because which kind of love she wants to show you will make you respect her. You will not feel respect your mama, now you go respect your woman. Your mama don't love you, think calm. Respect is something that is very fundamental. And then talking about communication, if you're the type that lacks the ability to communicate efficiently, it's going to affect you. For some people who like to do the silent treatment thing, woman offend you, so we go put my talk. You did do. <coughs> you go did. <do> talk. <laughs> So effective communication is very important. This cut across both parties, the woman, the man, but most importantly, the man. 
We women, we like to talk a lot and we want you to communicate with us. We are verbal. Most of us are verbal beings, like very verbal. I like to talk meaningful things though. And a lot of women like to talk. Okay, so if you're the type that you don't engage in conversations, things are happening, you don't want to talk about it, you don't want to face it, you're always dismissing it, dismissing it. One day that woman is going to get tired and she'll think that ah, this one will be say small matter like this, you don't want to talk about. And what about when big matter can't happen? Communication is important. Now, this is not meant to tear you down in any way. Far from it. I'm trying to help you. Because it's possible that you have this street or you've not fixed all of these things and then you keep thinking, why do women run away from me? I be Ojuju. You know be Ojuju. <laughs> By the way, Ojuju means someone who is undesirable. People don't want to see. You know be you're not an Ojuju. You're not unpleasant. It's just that there are things that you do that are unpleasant. And these things are going to repel or chase women away from you. So if you're ready to work on all of these things, you're going to become that man that attracts a woman's admiration, respect, and ultimately her love. My name is Wendy Zill. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, I believe you like this one on the screen. I'll see you there.